All right, this Chargers QB situation has to be talked about, has to be monitored, I mean, almost daily, just because it's everything. If Justin Herbert doesn't play, then it's it's going to be tough. But we talked about it yesterday that the Chargers signed Luis Perez, and we're going to get to him, plus we're going to look at Easton Stick and kind of how things are looking. Greg Roman talked about the offense now without Justin Herbert and where they're at. Just like, let's just kind of talk about where we're at. So it takes kind of a new turn because – it was like Justin Herbert will be back, and that's like, well, I, th- I still think he will be, but it's still, <clears throat> it's still evolving. So first of all, this the Luis Perez thing is kind of weird to me because he's six three two twenty. He goes to Texas A and M first, not even Texas A and M. Like, whoa, okay. But here's what's crazy: he goes undrafted, but goes to the Rams, Birmingham Iron, like a pro team, like a you know. Um, like a pro team, like the UFL, basically. The Eagles, the Lions, the Los Angeles Wildcats, the New York Guardians, back to the New Jersey Generals, back to the Rams, the Vegas Vipers, the Arlington Renegades, and now the Chargers. So in just six seasons, he's been with like 12 teams. So that's not great, but it's also interesting that he keeps getting chances. Here's another one. It's like, He must not be terrible. Now, again, is he the guy that we're counting on? No, but at the same time, man, he's in there and you can kind of see he's a big dude, strong arm, but his like release is like slow and he's behind the guy there. It's like, oh no. So he ain't it, right? So you, you sign a new guy, you're kind of excited, but man, oh man, like look at this throw right here. Put it out in front of him, baby. Oh, whoop, whoop behind him so then jim harbaugh is like all right kind of talking to him he's like see when you throw it you want to just throw it out there <laughs> so that leaves easton stick who i mean he's not good like seriously easton stick is not good so greg roman says hey we are where we need to be it's not really results oriented right now it's okay are we using the right footwork are we doing the right things that's what this process is about so during herbert's absence easton stick has been taking all the reps at first team so i think there was a a little spot there it's like i don't know like what are the what's the quarterback situation look like who's gonna go in and oh man just signed luis perez baby like he was a ufl champion nope it's easton stick and man it's It's crazy. It doesn't really change other than Easton is the quarterback. Now we might be doing some things in practice that might not suit what, what we do with Easton in a game. We have to install our offense in that regard. I don't really factor that in. I evaluate as it appears. So literally just admits like, yeah, we're, we're out here doing stuff that like he can't even do. So probably not going to do that. It's like, Oh my gosh, this process right here, we're putting it on the ankle weights a little bit. We're working hard, working hard on different concepts. It's not really results oriented right now. Roman said the ankle weight term refers more to the focus of the offense up to this point than results on the field. Don't really get the ankle weight thing. Here's the here's the new t- turn that this has kind of taken. The Chargers, for a minute there, were, I think, optimistic of, it's okay. Like, obviously, it's not okay. But it's like, you know what? We've got some quarterbacks on the roster. We just signed a guy. We 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 could uh, kind of hang in there for a couple weeks if if he's not ready. You know, he's not ready for another four weeks, and we get into the regular season, and Justin Herbert's not ready. Um, but but it's like, man, Easton Sticks not good. This is this is crazy to think that that he could step in and, and be something. So it's something to really keep an eye on. And man. Like, here's another article about how Perez spent time with the Rams, the Lions, the Eagles. So it's it's going to be, oh man, it's going to be hard to win without Justin Herbert. Like, duh. Like, I'm not saying anything nobody anybody knows. I just think for a second there, you had to think that he was going to be better. Um, that's all. Just, just like that Easton sticker Perez was going to be so much better. And it's like, nah, I don't think so. Um, okay. Check this out though, too. New chargers, Luis Perez, QB Luis, Luis Perez is wearing Cameron Dicker's number. Cameron Dicker has cemented himself as the fan favorite 
<laughs> so Dicker switched from 15 to 11 last season's which as many fans turn their heads at this number selection are the chargers outright telling us Perez won't make the roster is Dicker going to change his number for the third season in a row or it's possible you could have them both have the same number. I think that's still a thing. You see that in college where the offensive guy wears 15, the defensive guy wears 15 or whatever. So it's not uncommon for players to share uniform numbers during training camp. And that's already happening with one quarterback and special teams player. But boy, barring a surprise uniform change from Dicker that makes number 11 available, Perez would not be wearing that number if he makes the team. It's much more likely he would get a single digit number from fellow quarterback Max Dugan. So yeah, you got Max Dugan as well. So man, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If if you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel all about the Chargers and um, kind of it's a bummer. Really want to see what what Jim Harbaugh can do. He needs he needs. Justin Herbert, like it's just not going to work if we don't have Justin Herbert. Like, what are we doing here? So let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one.